hey me casa how are you oh and how's aaron is he still a whiny little bitch oh speaking of whiny little bitches how's a coma oh, oh hell no it's on girl <laughs> I'm Dave and today we're going to be taking a look at the fierce and deadly 12 year old Mume from the anime Kabaneri of the Iron Fortress. Ha ha! Pa 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 The name Mume, which is Japanese for nameless, was given to her by her adopted brother to signify that she is no longer the person she was. Mume now fights knowing that only the strong survive and the weak deserve to die. Here is Mume unboxed and her first expression is an adorable smile and she just looks so cute with her red eyes. Her second expression is her battle face that just says I'm about ready to chop off your head and it just looks so freaking badass. And her last faceplate is a hilarious, I ain't got time for this shit expression, cause Mume ain't got time for this shit. Now Mume has a bunch of really cool accessories, but they do have some problems as well. So Mume comes with her steam engine backpack, which is very detailed, and she also comes with a pair of steam pistols. Now here is where the problem lies. As with so many nendroids, the guns just don't want to stay in Mume's hands, and it is a struggle to keep them there. They just constantly keep falling out, and this is something that happens with so many nendroids, and it is just so frustrating. Now Mume's pistols also come with an effect grip to show them being fired, which is really nice but they don't really fit that well so you kind of have to be careful when putting them on and Mume's pistols also come with a bayonet part to stab some Kabane with and unfortunately they come off really easily they are very small which means they are very easy to lose so you do want to be careful about that bayonet part and my favorite accessory from Mume is that she comes with an alternate front hair piece that shows her without her head armor and she just looks so much cuter with it on so here is Mume in her battle gear and she is ready to kick some Kabane ass. She's got her guns drawn and she's ready to go into battle. Now I think this Nandroid is fantastically designed. This is a really awesome Nandroid and probably one of my favorite Nandroids of 2016. Everything about this Nandroid is so beautiful from head to toe. She is so intricately detailed. She has all these little intricacies all over her Nandroid that just really stand her out. And I just love this so much about Mume. She's very cute but at the same time Time, she's also really badass too even though she's just a little kid so one thing to note about this nendroid is that since Mume has a lot of battle poses you're gonna have a bunch of trial and error trying to figure out which shoulder parts and arm parts go for which pose so you just got to be patient and eventually you're gonna find the right parts for the right pose with that said Mume is still really awesome and I just love that you can display her in so many different battle poses Speaking of cool battle poses, looks like Mume has found some Kabane and she's going in guns a blazing. Ba BAM! And she just looks so freaking adorable and badass. And I just love this aspect of Mume's Nandroid. Can anything be cuter and more terrifying at the same time? I just love how she looks and she's just so intimidating while at the same time you just want to give her a big hug but you know she's just gonna freaking kill you. Now Mume has a bunch of really cool and awesome poses but this is by far my favorite one because it's the funniest one. This is the face Mume makes when she needs to tell Okoma to get his shit together and grow some fucking balls and I love that aspect about this character. Even though she looks so innocent and adorable you do not want to mess with Mume and you definitely don't want to get on her bad side. So I just love this face because it says so much about her character and I am definitely glad that it's included with this set. 
Now those of you who have not seen Cabinary of the Iron Fortress, it's kind of like Attack on Titan, but instead of Titans, our main characters are fighting hordes and hordes of zombies. And honestly, I kind of prefer Cabinary over Attack on Titan because our main characters in Cabinary are a lot more interesting and a lot more thoughtful. So I do like Mume over Mikasa and Eren, and I think Ikoma is a better main character too. So if you do like Attack on Titan, I highly recommend Cabinary of the Iron Fortress. It's bloody, gory, and gruesome and a lot of people die so if that is your thing you're definitely gonna like Kotetsu Jono Kabaneri. So overall I absolutely love this Nendroid. I love how detailed she is. She just looks so badass and adorable and I just love this about this character and Nendroid and even though this Nendroid can be so frustrating to put together I absolutely do think she is worth it. If you're a fan of the character or the anime you definitely want Mume in your collection. Before I go, I want to give a huge thank you to Super Sonica, Jess from Go Figure, for helping me out with this week's intro. If you guys have not checked out her new Super Sonica vlog channel yet, go ahead and subscribe to it right here. It is really cool getting to see Jess in just her everyday life, and who knows, you may even see certain other YouTubers show up from time to time. Alright, so that is going to do it for me here today. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Jane.